Hello everyone, this is Ashmata from Sorovsys Classes. As you can see on your screen, this is the general studies paper of 2022 year. That means this year's paper and it is from the ISS, IES general studies paper. And uh, I will be solving question number 3A in today's class. Okay, so let's get started. And if you have any queries after this uh, class, you can just post down your queries below in the comment box. And if you are preparing for any kind of entrance exams or any kind of competitive exams, you can join our classes. All the details regarding our classes are given in the description box just below this video. So go and just get enrolled so that we can just help you out with all the preparation guidance that you require. Let's get back to the question now. Yeah, the question says, what is non-fillers monitoring system? Explain how it can increase the tax compliance. So first you need to talk about non-fillers monitoring system. Then you need to explain how it can increase the tax compliance. Now let me tell you, your answer should be between 200 words, not exceeding this word limit. Okay, so let's get started what points you can include in this answer, like um, like how can you present this answer, that is what we are going to discuss over here today. Presenting your answer, you should be introducing, or rather I would say, uh, you should be just defining the non-fillers monitoring system first, okay? The non-fillers monitoring system, or the NMS we call it, uh, it aims to identify and monitor the persons who uh, like enter into high value transactions and have potential tax liabilities but have still not filed their tax returns. Now the income tax department that we call it the ITD has launched a pilot project namely the non-fillers monitoring system, non-filers monitoring system. That's the NMS. NMS is a result of combined information network gathered through annual information return, that's the AIR, centralized information branch, that's, that's the CIB, the TDS or the TCS statement. The finance ministry has recently sent various notices to income tax return non-filers based on information and analytics generated by the NMS. So you need to talk about what is NMS in a little bit of details. Such notices have been sent through SMS, uh, like messages, through emails, through physical letters based on details registered on non-filers PAN database, PAN card database, available with the CBDT records. Recently, Finance Ministry has given deadline of 21 days to respond to such notices. Such responses can be given online uh, at this particular website. You can mention this uh, detail. Okay, uh, if you, when you are talking about the known filers monitoring system, try to uh, try to talk about everything regarding it. Like, uh, what is it? What is it important for? Like, what is its usefulness? Who launched it? Why was it launched? Okay, so when you are writing any kind of answer for the exams. You should be asking the topic, why, where, by whom. Okay. All these uh, little questions, you should be asking the topic so that you can just uh, write down accordingly. In case, uh, in case no ITR file or no response is provided, Initiation of proceeding under Income Tax 1961 will be considered. Yeah, so all these things you should be writing in this answer. And yeah, that's the that's it, what you can include. And you just need to uh, just explain in a little bit detailed way, in a detailed manner, you need to write this answer so that it reaches 200 words. And mostly you can include these points. So these are the highlighted points that you can obviously include in your answer and you can practice like this. For these kind of questions, you can practice writing this answer. Okay, so that's it for today's class. We're going to meet once again in our next classes. 
Post down your queries if you have any in the comment box. Thank you.